Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avil Last and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And if you also trade on other pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, then do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So this is the chart of DXY. Yes. We know it very well that DXY and gold is not responding well like they used to. But since morning, after the market opening, we can see that DXY is an uptrend as well as gold. So DXY is right now trading at 100.67 and gold has crossed the previous swing high of 1981. Right now trading at 1984 and made a high of 1988-89. So gold is bullish again. And we were expecting also that gold, gold would break the previous swing high and gold would be marching towards the level of 2000-2005. We discussed yesterday. So as a result, okay, things have changed a little bit right now. But overall, the strong support levels that we discussed yesterday are still the same. In case of a heavy fall in the market, 1960 and 1950. 1960 and 1950 these two are the strongest support in the market in case of a catastrophe in case of a heavy fall in the market you can expect 1960 and 1950 to provide support to the market but right now gold is far away from these two support levels right now gold is trading at 19 1984 so what should be our trading strategy now first of all I must tell you one thing very well that always keep in mind that Monday mornings, okay, Monday mornings and Friday evenings are not that good for trading purpose, especially Monday morning because in Monday morning the market is usually dull, there is low liquidity, low volume. As a result, Monday morning is not considered as an ideal option for trading. So if you are planning to trade right now it's better to wait for some time wait for the market to settle down so if market settles uh, by afternoon and if you find market taking support around 19 uh, <laughs> wait wait <laughs> if you find market taking support around 1981 to 80 which was previous little resistance not previous swing high there is a possibility that market may take support around this level and market may also bounce. So 1980 to 1981 to 80 can be a bounce level for you once the market settles. Keep in mind 1981 80 is not a very strong level. It is a very minor support for a market. If you are a new trader, not in a position to lose any money right now, if you cannot afford to take any risk by right now, then this level is not for you. Goal is not for you right now because levels right now in the market are not stable enough. Levels in the market are not strong enough right now. 1981 to 80 is previously it was a swing high. So therefore, we can now expect that market would take support and bounce from here. If market bounces from this level, we can take a buy position. But please follow proper risk management because again, I'm saying that these levels are not that strong enough and market is very volatile for the last couple of weeks. So in this case, following proper risk management is extremely important because any good trade setup may fail. Trades set the good and the best of the best trades setups are failing these days. So please follow proper risk management. And in case market comes down, in case market breaks the level of 1981 to 80 and starts coming down, then next support zone, next support zone is around 1977 to 1974. This is the next support zone for gold USD. Again, this is also not a very strong support because right now you can see that I am in the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, so if gold comes down, then the 200 moving average and we have the 50 moving average. Plus we have some additional support from the Fibonacci. You 
you can see that we have Fibonacci 38.2, we have Fibonacci 50% retracement level. So if we combine all these factors, there is a possibility, yes, there is just the possibility that in case market comes down, that around 19, 1977, 1974 may provide support to the market. But these are not very strong levels, these are minor support zones. Without, if there is no news in the market under normal circumstances, yes, under normal circumstances, you can hope that market will take support and market bounce. If market bounces, you can go for buy. And how you get the confirmation? So once you see that market is in the support zone, observe the market and see. If you see that market is trying to take support, you see um, hammer kind of a pattern, bullish engulfing pattern or any Good price rejection from below gives you the confirmation that yes, buyers are still present in the support level and you can go for buy. Okay, so uh, first trading opportunity is around 1980-1981 which, which was the previous swing high. Now it may act as the new support for the market. Secondly, 1977-1974, this level is kind of uh, important for day trading purpose there is a possibility that market will take support from here and the strongest support zone in the market are 1960 and 1950 and if you already have a buy position on gold right now then please be on the trade you do not need to exit because overall all the things are pointing towards an upside on the chart of gold as long as um, as long as you do not hear any bad news regarding the goal, okay, you can be on the buy side. There is a high possibility that goal will be marching towards the level of 2000, 2000 and 2005. Okay, so let's wait and watch. And that's it. Bye-bye, <laughs> take care. See you tomorrow.